I'm gonna melt about a tablespoon of butter with some oil uh, in this pan. I'm going to add half of a small onion and one large garlic clove. I chopped it coarsely as you can see. It doesn't matter, we're going to blend this, so don't worry about it. We're going to cook this for six minutes maybe until the onion is nice and softened, okay? Make sure you don't burn the garlic, it will make your soup bitter. So work on medium heat. I have been stirring this, not constantly, but you know, uh, quite a bit. I just wanna make sure, sure that my garlic doesn't burn. I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. Cook that. A pinch of nutmeg. And I have two bunches of broccoli here, which I just chopped up, you know, with the stems and everything. Uh, just probably four cups of broccoli. Don't get too fixated on measurements. This is a soup, so it doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna cook that broccoli a bit. Get it going nice and green, dark green. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, not much, because we're gonna add cheese to this later. Some black pepper. I am gonna cook this with water, but if you want, you can use vegetable stock or chicken stock. Just make sure it's low sodium, okay? And we're gonna just cover the broccoli. I'm going to bring this to a boil and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Guys, this is cooked. Now we're gonna blend this. If you have an immersion blender, use it now. If not, wait, cool this down and do it in your blender and bring it back to the pot, okay? Don't blend hot liquids. Your, your uh, blender's gonna explode. Turn the heat back on. I'm going to add a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. You can add more cheese if you want. Actually, I'm gonna taste it and see if I wanna add more. Mm. I'll put another half cup, okay? Uh, it, it does need a little salt. So the cheese melted, I'm just gonna add some heavy cream. You can add uh, half and half or milk. I'm gonna do a cup. All right, yeah, uh, um. We don't want this to boil, we don't want the cream to curdle, we just want it to be nice and hot. Need salt and pepper. It is ready to serve. That easy, guys. I am going to serve my soup with a little extra cheese on top. And I'm gonna add some uh, raw pumpkin seeds. Optional, of course, you don't have to. I like the crunch, you know, and since I'm not putting any croutons or, or short shoestring potatoes on this, that is going to satisfy. So here we have it, guys. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Okay, let's taste this. Mmm. Oh, yes. Guys, you're gonna love this. It's thick enough. We didn't need to put any flour or anything in it. It's creamy, it's silky, it's fantastic. Tastes very, very good. 